In Cedar Rapids, Iowa today, John McCain slammed the head of the Securities and Exchange Commission, accusing Christopher Cox of allowing Wall Street to become a casino for speculators. And he implicitly criticized President Bush for standing by him. If I were president today, I would fire him. After stumbling earlier in the week when he claimed the economy's fundamentals are strong, McCain is now roaring back with a harsh attack on Washington and Wall Street. Mismanagement and greed became the operating standard while regulators were asleep at the switch. He ripped into Barack Obama for being too close to mortgage giants Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, who he said are at the center of the economic crisis. Fannie's former general counsel is a senior advisor to his campaign. Whose side do you think he's on? In fact, though, McCain also has advisors who've lobbied for Fannie and Freddie. And while he did sound an early warning on them, he is not known for tough regulation of Wall Street, where the crisis is now raging. McCain is taking his populist attack to crucial battleground states in the Midwest this week, Ohio, Michigan, Iowa, Wisconsin, and Minnesota. The strategy? Uh, there are certainly a, a lot of Democrats, uh, some maybe who didn't vote in the primaries, but certainly some who did vote for Hillary Clinton, who we feel we have a very good shot at. Meanwhile, Senator Chuck Hagel, a Republican, says it's a stretch to say Sarah Palin is qualified to be president, asking, quote, you get a passport for the first time in your life last year? Hagel has split with his party on a number of issues. Still, he's one of a number of prominent Republicans who have questioned whether Palin has enough experience in foreign policy. Chip Reed, CBS News, Green Bay, Wisconsin.